What's going on, arcade nerds? You are now looking at part five of the Tailgunner 2 Restore. Um, guess what came in the mail? We have brand new Tailgunner 2 side art. Now this is the original that Kelly peeled off and we saved this just so we could look at the differences here. Now, for example, the newer side art the new sign art, the colors are slightly more uh, vibrant, a little more robust, and I would expect that. Why would I expect that? Because these colors do fade. Red, red fades a lot over time and so on, and, and you know what? I am okay with that. As long as they're the same hue, I'm totally cool with it. I notice like this blue on the new sign art is a little more robust than this, and this could have faded, so hey, that's totally fine. All around, it actually looks great. I actually measured it, and I, I looked at some fine, fine details. Now, the original, and, and I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm actually happy. Now, the original was uh, silk screened, and uh, you know, you just can't match silk screen with a print. But it's still very good. No one, no one's gonna know. It's good enough for me to put it on my, my on my machine. I am happy with the way this turned out. I think it looks great. So, you know, originally I, um, I, re I intended to measure the side art before we peeled it off, but I did not. I planned on it, and I did not do it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, look at some pictures online of, of original Tailgunner 2 cabinets, and then I'm going to put it in paint, and then I'm going to scale it and measure the exact size of this cabinet, and then I will, you know, measure the, you know, the exact location that this uh, art is going to be. So, yeah, let's do that. Now, this might be a short video because right now I have to shift priorities a little bit, uh, so I may not put as much time into the Tailgunner 2 project as I'd like, but I can probably do some little things to, to uh, you know, to fill this video up, but this might be a short one. We'll see. So anyways, so let me go and measure some pictures measure the real cabinet and let's see how accurate we can get that side art positioning to be okay well I uh, put the side art on both sides to where I believe it should be uh, I actually found out that every tailgunner 2 cabinet that I could find on the internet uh, was a little little to the left a little to the right they were none of them were all exactly in the same spot so I kind of averaged out where all the side art was and put it to about the middle of where I think it should be. Anyway, so what I've done is I've taped this off right here. If you lay this down, this is where you want your art to be, right? So now I'm just going to separate the bottom from the art. pull up a section like that and I'm going to cut this with scissors here can you make sure there's no paper fuzzies get her the side art. I probably should be using a uh, Bondo knife or something to spread this out, but I've done this a few times before. I have some pretty good faith in my hands. Okay looks nice and square. So now I'm going to take off my masking tape that holds up the side art. I know this paint is nice and solid but man am I nervous putting masking tape on my fresh paint but it's okay. 
I would just so hate to have to repaint this again. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. If it was minor, I wouldn't do it. Okay. So I'm going to fold this over. And do that. Okay, still no bubbles, which is awesome. Now that I fold it over, I have a nice little handle here. So I can pull it up some more. And Kelly, can you maneuver that so we don't bend anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's so do it some more. There's a speck of dust somewhere. I can feel it. I don't see anything. I don't see anything either. Maybe it was a bubble. Maybe. Okay. Right there, same spot. You know what? It is a speck of dust. I'm gonna let it go, it's so tiny. Uh, can you tell me where it is? No, I can't see it. I can feel it. It's right there, a little tiny speck of dust. Minor annoyances. First world problems. <laughs> I'm taking my time. Normally I would snap these right up, but uh, I'm just being uh, paranoid. I want this thing to look really good. Looks beautiful. There's that one speck of dust. <laughs> Give me the camera. I want to see if I can show the speck of dust. You get the right reflection. Maybe a gnat landed in the paint or something. I don't know. Let's see if I could find it. Okay, it's right there. Can you see it? Catch it at the right angle. Oh, there it is. Here's, here's the right angle. See my speck of dust? Oh well, it kind of looks like a star, the way it's set up. So, all right, let's do the other side. Before I do the other side, I just want to show you some of the scratches that are on this plexi here. And I'm going to leave them all there, I just, I, just because. But one thing I thought was kind of cool is there's a, see that square? If you look at the right angle, it actually spells out Ozzy. Who is this guy writing Ozzy on all these games? <laughs> I, I'm serious. There is so many games I've seen that say Ozzy on it. <laughs> so and then RH. It looked like somebody came back and vi revisited this game and wrote the RH again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so let's show the other side. Mm -hmm. I 
like to try my best to not make any creases when I bend this side art. I just did. I'll show you in a second. Kelly, can you man the camera in case I'm blocking the picture? Yeah. Show you what I did. Can you see that in the camera? Let me zoom in a little. I can see. I think you can see it. It's hard to tell. That right there is 100% my fault. It's because when I picked up the side art, I didn't get it squaw. Luckily, it's not bad enough where you're, you can see it. Matter of fact, I can't see it at all from this side, so that's good. Sometimes it's forgiving. Yeah, but you know, you crease that side art. Sometimes those creases, again. yeah, sometimes those creases will never go flat again. But, luckily it's not, not bad enough to show anything on the final deal. It's looking beautiful! Okay, so let me take off. this masking tape. I'm like using the blue tape. Yeah, the, the blue tape comes off a little release. easier. And seems to not be as sticky. Mm -hmm. Yet sticky enough to just still do its job. Yeah, earlier today, a guy by the name of Bob Cunningham came to my house and uh, four arcade machines that I sold were shipped out. What games were they? One was um, Robotron mm -hmm. that sold to my buddy uh, Bobby Jackson. And I can't remember who bought the others. I sold a... Uh, Tank Battalion. Tank Battalion. And I sold, uh, geez, my mind is blank. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. And the Laser other one, Mazer Blazer. Mm -hmm. Yes. I hate to see him go, but I needed the money, and that's how things go. How things go. Plus, we got to fit more games in the house. Yeah, so. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a lot more vector projects going on that you guys probably don't know about. And, uh, or a select few of you might know about. And I'm going to need room for more vectors. So I have to sell some rasters off. I don't have to. I, do, I need the money too, but I'm, I need the space. I wish I had more space. Isn't that like the, the number one thing? Like, serious arcade collectors. The problem is always space. Yep. My biggest problem. Okay, I'm happy with that. No dust underneath. Perfectly flat. Looks beautiful. I, I actually, I'm afraid to touch it so much because I don't want fingerprints on the paint. It's just so damn nice looking. <laughs> I don't want to get dirty smudge marks on the paint. <sighs> okay. Beautiful. Let's do a walk around. Now, you probably would never notice it in the video, but I'll tell you something that kind of bugs me, but I wasn't about to untape it to, to fix it. This side art is about two millimeters this way. 
literally two millimeters. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how, see where the, this ends right here? See where this ends right here? It's about two millimeters off. But I figured, what the hell, we'll leave it there. Oh, starting to look like a tail gunner two cockpit now. <laughs> oh, grab that, that tape on the bottom there. Oh, looking beautiful, man. I hate when people put this tape on plexiglass and don't take it off for years. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so now I have more room in the garage. Oh, and a buddy of mine, uh, Mike Gideon, he's picking up his Mad Plants. Uh, he brought a Mad Plants a while back, and I, uh, I re-stenciled it and painted it. And uh, it was missing, it was a conversion, it was missing the harness and stuff like that. So now that Mad Plants, this is off topic, I know. So now that Mad Plants is going to go, go home tomorrow. 11.30 tomorrow in the morning. So then I'll have yet one more game out of here. I don't know. I keep, I have a dream. You know what my dream is? <laughs> you know what my dream, you know what my dream is, Kelly. <laughs> my dream, here's the, is to get my garage clean. <laughs> it's, not so far. it's not going very well. We still got not two other well. games to go pick up. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. Well, let me think about it. I don't know what else to do next. I might, uh, might bend those panels uh, because someone drilled a bunch of unnecessary panels, unnecessary holes in the sheet metal that goes here and goes here. So I could patch it up, but what I'm actually going to do, well, I'm, I'm still debating. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. I may patch the holes or I may just bend new sheet metal. So I may, you know, bend new sheet metal. At some point I got to, uh, <clears throat> At some point I have to find artwork for this and artwork for that. Um, I may go for, uh, well, I, I asked uh, this old game and he said he didn't have any left. I guess he printed some out a while ago, but he doesn't have any more. And uh, I don't know, I guess he doesn't want to take on any more projects. So, uh, I don't know. The text on here is basically just... It's just black with like white text. Simple as that. I could probably find something to fit in Microsoft Paint. I just don't have the equipment to print stuff like that. Okay, let's see what else we can figure out to do here. Okay, it's not arcade related, but it is paint related. So I'm gonna I'm gonna at least show what I'm doing. What's going on right now? Uh, as of now, I ordered some connectors off of eBay so I can finish the wiring harness. So this is at a big standstill. Also, I need to order the damn tea molding. Uh, so as of now, this is kind of, kind of a big standstill. Uh, so let me just show you what I'm doing right now. Um, as of now, I got my son's Corvette hood. And uh, I thought I had everything good. I sanded it down really well. This is a coat of uh, primer. Um, and I found an imperfection here, here, and here. So I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to sand this down, and I'm going to put a final coat of sandable primer down. Then I'm going to sand the sandable primer, and I decided to go with uh, Dynacoat automotive paint. I'm going to use some Dynacoat with some uh, reducer. This is a 2 to 1 mix, two to one ratio. So I'll mix it up, I'll put it in the spray gun, and I guess this video has now shifted into let's paint a Corvette hood. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at the mess in here. I had a lot of people contact me wondering what the hell's going on with the tail gunner because I'm taking so damn long. Um, I, did, I got sidetracked on I'm painting my son's hood on, on his uh, car and uh, I've just been sidetracked sidetra and I'm going to be sidetracked for even a few more days because this is a bad paint job. I'm going to have to sand it back down and repaint it again and uh, I'm sorry I get sidetracked things happen 
but it's kind of cool to see so many people contact me about the same thing like what's going on with the jail gunner so um what I'm gonna do is that little bit of footage that I made so far with me putting the side art on and all that I'm just gonna release that this is gonna be this video so this is the end of this video and and so on um, have a good one uh, please subscribe uh, I'll be back to this the next thing will be wiring on that tail gunner too